Hi there, I'm Molly, and I'm a reading and dyslexia specialist. In this video, I'll walk you through and demonstrate the proper formation of uppercase and lowercase letters. You want to practice this until these letters become automatic. Let's get started. So let's start with A and go all the way to Z with our uppercase and lowercase. I'm going to start all the way in the left-hand corner with the letter A. Uppercase A starts at the top, pull down, jump up, pull down, and slide in the middle. Lowercase A looks totally different than uppercase. Little curve, push up, pull down. B, start at the top, pull down, jump up, Little curve, little curve. Lowercase b looks different than uppercase. You start at the top, pull down, push up, curve around. C, start at the top, a little below the top because you push up, touch the top, curve around, touch the bottom, and stop. Lowercase c looks the same, just smaller. So you start a little bit below the middle line, push up, curve around, touch the bottom, and stop. Letter D, uppercase, start at the top, pull down, jump up, big curve around. Lowercase d looks totally different than uppercase. So for lowercase d, you start a little bit below the middle line, little curve, push up, pull down. E, start at the top, pull down, jump up, little line, little line, little line. Lowercase e looks totally different than uppercase. Start in the middle, between the middle line and the lower line and you slide, push up, curve around. F, uppercase F, start at the top, pull down, jump up, slide, slide. And lowercase F looks different. Start a little bit below that top line, push up, pull down, and slide in the middle. G, you make a big curve, push up, slide in, slide out. And lowercase g looks different than uppercase. You make a little curve, starting a little bit below the middle line. Curve, push up. This one goes below that bottom line and curve in. H, let's go all the way down and start right below the A. Uppercase H, start at the top, pull down, jump up, pull down, jump to the middle, and slide. Lowercase looks different than uppercase. Start at the top, pull down, push up, curve around. I, Uppercase I, start at the top, pull down, jump up, slide, jump to the bottom, slide. Lowercase looks different, start in the middle, pull down, little dot. J, start at the top, pull down, curve up and around and give it a slide at the top. Lowercase, start in the middle, pull down, oh, you're gonna go below that line just like you did with the G, and you're gonna give it a dot. Letter K, start at the top, pull down, jump to the middle, push up, jump to the middle, pull down. Let's look at the lowercase k. 
Start at the top, pull down. This time you're gonna jump to the middle between the middle line and the lower line, right about there. And you're going to push up, pull down. L, start at the top, pull down, slide. Lowercase L looks different. Start at the top, pull down. M, start at the top, pull down, jump up, pull down, push up, pull down. Lowercase m looks a little different. Start at the top, I'm sorry, no, start in the middle. Start in the middle with the lowercase m. Pull down, push up, hump, push up, hump. N, let's slide back over here. Start at the top, pull down, jump up, slide, push up. Lowercase looks different. You start in the middle, pull down, push up, little hump. O, start at the top, start a little bit on the side because you're going to push up. So start about there. Push up, curve around, and touch. And the lowercase o looks exactly the same, just smaller. So you're going to start a little bit below that middle line. Pull around, and touch. P, start at the top, pull down, jump up, little curve to the middle. Lowercase p, start in the middle, pull down, jump up, curve around. This is another letter that goes below the bottom line. Q, big curve just like O, start a little bit below, curve around and touch and give it a little kick. Lowercase q, you start ju just like the lowercase o, a little bit below that middle line because you push up, touch, pull down, go below, and give it a little curve. R, start at the top, pull down, jump up, little curve, little kick. Lowercase r, Start in the middle, looks different than uppercase. Pull down, push up, curve around. S, start a little bit below that top line because you're gonna push up and around. You're gonna make a curve and a curve and stop. Lowercase s is the same, just smaller. So start a little bit below that middle line we're gonna make a little curve, little curve, and stop. Let's go down here for letter T. Letter T, start at the top, pull down, jump up, and slide. Lowercase t, start a little bit above the middle, pull down, jump up, and slide across the middle. Lower, let's do the letter U. Start at the top, pull down, touch the bottom, push up. Lowercase u, start in the middle, pull down, push up, touch and pull down. V, start at the top, slide and touch, push up. Lowercase v looks just like uppercase v, just smaller. Start in the middle, pull down, touch, push up. W, start at the top, pull down, touch, push up, pull down, touch, push up. And lowercase looks just the same, just smaller. So we start in the middle. Pull down, push up, pull down, push up. X, 
start at the top, pull down, jump up, pull down. Lowercase x looks exactly the same, just smaller. Start in the middle, pull down, jump up, pull down. Let's go down for y, letter y, start at the top, little line to the middle, jump up, little li big line to the bottom. Lowercase is the same, just smaller. Start in the middle, pull down, jump up, pull down, it goes below that bottom line. And last letter, letter Z. The top, you slide, slide, slide. Lowercase is the same, just smaller. So you start and you slide, slide, slide.